Hey guys, what is up? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys a exotic Ingram Prime Ingram farm in Destiny 2 Season of the Chosen. Before we get in the video though, if you're new around here, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. If you do, it gets closer to that 6k mark. With all that said though, let's get right into the video. So for what I'll be using in this exotic farm is the Extraordinary Redemption. Now this is a submachine gun. I use Overflow and Rampage. You don't need to use exactly what I'm using, but this stuff is really good for this little exotic farm. And then I'll be using the Salvinger Salvo and the Colony. Now you're wondering, Hectic, why would I use Colony over Lament? It really just comes down to preference. If you don't want to have to do all the combinations for Lament and all that, just use Colony. It's a lot faster. Now for my I do have shotgun scavenger on I have taking charge now these are kind of important mods as you could charge with light and do more damage so if you do have these definitely put them on it makes farming this a lot faster than I have stompies for movement now for super I'm using golden gun now I'm using bottom tree golden gun so pretty much what you want to do is open your director go to destinations and then go to the moon now, once you guys go to the moon, uh, you want to go to the sanctuary and just load in. Now, I know you guys like when I make these exotic farm videos. So, uh, yeah, here's today I'll be making them. So, make sure you pop the finest matter weave buff as well. Defeating bosses have a chance of dropping a enhancement core. Also, pop the rainmaker if you don't have max glimmer. This also grants glimmer on killing the boss. So, definitely a uh, really important buff if you don't have glimmer. Or maybe you just want to find me your enhancement cores. I have over 1,300 enhancement cores. So, it's not too big of a deal for me. So, what you guys want to do is just hop on your sparrow. Follow exactly where I go. Take a right turn once you guys get up here, and then you're going to have a checkpoint pop up on your screen. You should see the archer's line. If you see that, you are going the right way. Once you guys do that, just take another right turn. You're going to see right here. Follow this little path. Now, once you guys do that, you will be in the hellmouth. So pretty much what this will bring you to is a new checkpoint. This means that you are going to the right direction. Now I know you guys like when I make the little locations for the nightmares. Uh, I have been requested to do another video on these because you can farm exotics at these little nightmares. So uh, in this video I'll be showing you guys where this nightmare is to farm exotics. Now just a heads up, every weekend it does reset so pretty much every Tuesday it does reset so this will no longer be at the same location it will most likely be in a different location so uh, I do have a video in the link uh, go check that out link description there's a uh, multiple videos of the locations of where these can be at so once you guys come here you're gonna see the fallen jump up here come in this little cave now once you come in this cave you're going to see this big red dot. You want to come up to it and it will say confront the nightmare. Now I do believe you need shadow keep for this. If you don't though, you might be able to do this. Just give it a shot. So I'm going to shoot colony. Got some good damage off. I'm going to spam submachine gun on him. Now he is almost dead. So uh, if you do see though, with this build that I have, if I pick up this little orb, I get charged with light times too. So it allows me to get multi kills. And also get charged with light. I do need to go here though and kill this boss. Now pretty much what happens when you kill this boss. Is he will drop a Ingram possibly. Or maybe even just a Phasma Fragment. But there will be a chest back here. Make sure you pick that up. I got a blue and a Phasma Fragment my first try. Not bad. I definitely would suggest farming this if you have some free time. But like always, uh, if you guys are looking to reset this, just go back to where you came from. Or you can sit here for about a minute and he will respawn. Like always though, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful or informative. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Peace. Thanks for watching.